Welcome to the latest episode of Press This. I'm your host, Dan, and Press This is a look at the latest and greatest in WordPress technology to help improve your website. As always, folks, you can subscribe to us at the YouTube button at the top right if you're interested in more of this content and want to see what we add as we add it. For the past month, we've been talking about optimizing your WordPress website. We're getting into the new year, the year of 2015, and WordPress sites are more popular than ever. But there's a lot of of places to improve with optimizing your website. And one of the most commonly asked questions to us is, how do I create a content delivery network? So this episode is gonna go over what a content delivery network is, as well as um, a couple of options you have for content delivery, because there are a few. So what is a content delivery network? Well, a content delivery network is effectively an external server. So a server separate of your own personal server where your website is hosted that takes the content from your website and distributes it through that server. But why is this important? Well, there are a few reasons why having a content delivery network is nice. Here's a couple of the more obvious points. One, you have an external server processing your requests. What this means is there's less burden on your own server and more burden on external servers to process your requests. So load speeds from your end, from the site where the website's being hosted, go down. Another benefit of this is the fact that you have a larger distributed network. Think about it like this. I have a business and I sell products locally. What if somebody orders a product from California and I live in Massachusetts? What's going to happen is I'm going to have to ship that product all the way across the states to California. However, let's let's reverse that. Let's rewind that a little bit. What if I got an order from California and I had a store space in Mass and California? Now I have the option for a quicker shipping from that California location to the California location there that requested the product. Think of content delivery networks the same way. The more servers I have and the more areas throughout the world, the faster my load is going to be in those areas of the world. One of the more unobvious uh, reasons why it's nice to have a content delivery network is the case of a cyber attack or a DDoS, you know, distributed de- denial of service attack. In this case, your server is getting overloaded by requests and it could break. Well, the more servers you have processing your images, your header content, text, things like that, the less chance you're going to have of getting broken like this um, because you have more options. You have more options available to you and more servers. All right. Content delivery networks work for any website. However, this is a WordPress-based show, so we're going to talk about a few of your WordPress options. We're going to go over a free option and a paid option, weigh the benefits and negatives of both, other than the fact that, of course, one is free and one isn't. So the free option is actually from the Jetpack plugin for WordPress. So what I'm going to do here is just go, I've already installed Jetpack. You can actually just go to your plugin section and add a new plugin. This way, search Jetpack. And then you can just, well, we have it here, but you could install it if, if you hadn't had it on your website already. Once we're in, once we've done that, we're going to go to Jetpack settings. We're going to go to Photon. All you have to do is click activate. We already have it activated here. So if we deactivate it, we can always go back and we can actually just click right here and activate it. That's literally all you have to do. You also have to attach your um, wordpress.com username and password, which you can create if you don't already have one um, to make the, the whole plugin work. So what are the negatives to using Jetpack? Well, the major negative is the control you have over the plugin. It's not a true content delivery network. Jetpack Photon is used more for images, and what it does is it caches those images. This leads to a couple of issues. One is that you can never update your image. It's the image is as it is, and it's always hosted on WordPress.com. What this does for a user is it provides a situation where potentially you could have copywritten images um, or other personal information on your website that's now uploaded into WordPress.com servers for use. Um, And if there are copyright issues, this isn't a good thing. So you have to be careful if your site has images that might be copyright protected, or you might foresee a problem with this in the future, you're going to want to watch out if you're going to use Jetpack. The The other problem with Jetpack Photon is though it is positioned as a content delivery network for your images, it isn't quite technically a content delivery network because your images are just simply cached for the long haul, so entirely forever on WordPress.com servers, and there's no other work that 
you know, WordPress.com servers have to do. The positive side is this is free, so it does provide that option for you. We've also heard reports um, from others that the issue with um, there's blah, 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 blah. we've also heard reports that uh, from forums that there are issues with SEO um, that we haven't tested that in depth at this point in time uh, when your images are cached or served through WordPress.com. So then, what's the solution if you do want to pay money if you want a fully fledged take all my content and serve it across the board solution. Well, that's Max CDN. Max CDN is one of the most popular ones. Um, here's their pricing table here. You can take a quick look at that. It starts at 100 gigabytes of bandwidth a month for nine per month and goes up from there. So it does cost money uh, for the plan, but it's a much more a full solution, full service install. If you're a business that need, absolutely needs the site to be as fast as possible, like a pizza delivery service, or if you're a larger conglomerate, like a larger industry or business, you're definitely going to want to use a CDN like this to maximize your page load speed. I'd argue that it's good to have for any website, but you know you have to factor the costs in with your web costs, your operating costs. We understand that can be a tricky subject sometimes. Max CDN also works um, with the free plugin W3 Total Cash, which is a very, very popular plugin. Um, to set it up, you simply go to the general settings under performance, go to CDN, enable it, and select Max CDN from the drop down. Save your settings. Next, you need to go into your Max CDN account and create a pull zone. Um, and where's an article we have, which we can link in the, in the footer notes of YouTube that goes over that process um, to create that Max CDN account. Once you've done that, you can click Authorize, and this will take you to Max CDN's website where they'll give you the authorization key. You're going to paste that key where it says where it says authorization key and validate it. Max CDN's website is also going to give you a CDN URL in that poll zone that you create, um, and it will be a, near the um, authorization information and everything else. Um, you just enter that URL. It's a little bit longer in this bar, and then you save your settings when you're all set. And this will actually configure Max CDN with your WordPress website. So it's that simple of a process. You now have a complete content delivery network on your website thanks to the power of Max CDN and W3 Total Cache. And again, we have a more detailed breakdown with images and everything like that as well uh, on the website, and we'll link that as well. So there you have it. There's a look at content delivery networks. If you have any questions about content delivery networks or Max CDN or Photon or anything like that, you can comment below. Um, on YouTube or comment below on our blog. Please subscribe as always at the top right if you're interested in what we see. We're looking to get towards 10,000 subscribers on our WordPress channel on YouTube, which would be really, really cool. The following program is also brought to you by our wonderful Slocum Themes, the best premium and free WordPress themes on the market. Beautiful, responsive, clean, with all sorts of features and color customization options, fonts, things like that. Check it out at slocumthemes.com. Thank you.